Okay, what I'm doing here, uh, I have already turned some of this cherry log. And I was trying to do some natural bark and I kept losing the bark. And this is cut out of the same log. And what I did, I took shellac in the areas I was gonna keep the bark on. I soaked the shellac two or three times into the bark to help glue it to it. And it worked. And I've used it several times since then. And I decided to, I had this video and I decided to put it on there. One of the things that you have to do, besides what I said about the shellac, is when you're cutting, you'll see me go from the bark to the cut wood. Never go back toward the bark because it will peel it off. So you go, you start on the bark, and then you go away from it. Always away from it. Now I was going to take some of the bark off this middle part, and that's what I'm doing here. I wanted a hint of bark on it, in and out, and it stayed on pretty much where it was. But it was mostly because of slack, because like I say, I've already turned some off the same log and bark went everywhere. So just sit back and watch the video. I hope you learned something from it. This is one of the ugliest faces I ever turned, but that's what I was doing. I was just trying to see how to save the bark the best way. Pretty short, it won't take a minute to watch it and you'll see what I'm talking about and understand that I have already cut the next section of this and I lost all the bark every time. I soaked it with shellac, there's probably a million ways to do it, but I soaked it with shellac and I kept my bark on. If you like this video, it's really short, and we're gonna do some shorts. Uh, hit the like button, hit subscribe, and y'all have a blessed day.